in. Oh, George, we've got company. <laughs> And now, meet the people who live in the Burns house, George and Gracie. Well, last week, Gracie's mother arrived at the Burns house for an extended visit, and she's made it very clear that she doesn't approve of her son-in-law being in show business. She keeps telling Gracie that she should have married a bricklayer, or a carpenter, or a mechanic, or a painter, or a plumber. Or an electrician. Someone who'd be useful if anything goes wrong around the house. Oh, George is pretty handy, Mama. When our radio was broken, George got it fixed with one finger. One finger? He went to the phone and dialed the repairman. <laughs> there you are. Your husband is a puny, helpless little nincompoop. Why, I'll bet it's a light. Suddenly went out, he wouldn't do a blessed thing. Well, Mama, we've been married for 15 years. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, he wouldn't know how to fix them. Oh, great, darling. I'd like to go back to San Francisco. But you need someone around here to look after you. Oh, but Mama George is a wonderful husband. Even if he isn't show business, he's a good provider. I don't believe it. How can he earn a living on the radio? Oh, he makes people laugh. But on the radio, who can see his face? <laughs> they, they don't have to see him, Mama. He's a fine comedian. Well, George is... Hello. Oh, hello, dear. Well, where have you been? Have you I been out shooting pool and gambling? I was of course you have. I where else would you be? How much did you lose? I Everything was... you had, of course. I was... I was and now you're home to borrow money from me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was... about the baker who worked night and day because he needed dough. <laughs> Tell it? <laughs> you just... Go on, show her how you make a living. But, Gracie, you... You just... heard what she said. Tell me the joke about the baker who worked all day and night because he needed dough. <laughs> Baker worked day and night because he needed dough. He must have a sideline. <laughs> you, you, you didn't tell it very well, George. I even had the feeling that I'd heard it before. It's hard to work without but makeup. But that, that's not his <laughs> That's not his greatest talent, Mama. You should hear him sing. He sings. Oh, just like a bird. He's even fooled some of our neighbors into shooting at him with an air rifle. <laughs> a pity they missed. <laughs> Sing for Mama George. Open up the blast furnace of your throat and melt her down. Okay. Here's a song that'll do it. Sure, I love the dear silver that shines in your hair. <laughs> and the brow that's all furrowed. And wrinkle with care. <laughs> I love the dear fingers, so toil worn for me all. <laughs> well, Joe Bagley, who got me into this, I think I'll go pay him a little visit. Uh, he'll have to be mighty handy around the house before I learn to like that little. Look. Come in. Hi, Gracie. Oh, hello, Bill. George here? No, he's gone over to see Joe Baggins. Hey, Bill. Huh? You think you could teach George to be handy around the house? 
Well, the little man's not so good, huh? Oh, Billy, dreadful. Last week he tried to repair the vacuum cleaner and the refrigerator. What happened? Well, when he put them back together, the vacuum cleaner bag filled up with ice cubes. <laughs> and every time I opened the refrigerator door, it sucked me in. Well, maybe I can help, George. I'm awfully handy at tinkering with gadgets. Really? Oh, they call me the biggest tinkerer in the neighborhood. <laughs> should have said that slower. Yeah. yeah. Gracie, why the sudden urge to make George a handyman? Well, because then Mama will go back to San Francisco satisfied that George is a good husband and everyone will be happy. Oh, well, it's easy to convince your mother that George can fix things. Now, I'll just slip down in the basement and loosen a fuse and shut off the water valve. Then when your mother says the lights and water don't work, George goes down in the basement and with a simple twist of the wrist, he's a hero. Oh, yes. Think he can fix them? Well, all he has to do is screw in a fuse and turn on a valve. A moron can do that. Oh, well, then I'm sure George can handle it. <laughs> I'll go right down in the basement and turn them off. It's your fault she's here, thank you. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll think of some way to get rid of your mother-in-law. What does she do that annoys you? Well, for one thing, she gets in the bathroom first every morning and stays there for hours. My legs are giving up. <laughs> Your leg? It's five blocks to the filling station where I shave. <laughs> well, at least they clean your glasses for you. <laughs> what was that? And another thing, she leaves the lights on all night while she reads. Hey, I've got it. If those are the things she does, we can make her want to leave. How? Oh. By lousing up your wiring and plumbing so there'll be no lights and water. Joe, you're a genius. I know. <laughs> so I'll get Clara to invite Gracie and her mother here for tea. Then we'll sneak down your basement and rip out all the wires and pipes. Rip them out? But uh, I won't be able to fix them again. After the old girl leaves. Call a repairman. Well, okay. I'll meet you down at my base. So long. Yeah. Hello, Sam. This is Joe Bagley. How's the plumbing and electrical business? Good. Say, uh, do I still get a 10% commission on jobs I find for you? That's <laughs> well. I'm lining one up that ought to run about 500 bucks. <laughs> Joe. Ah, there. All the water pipes are down. Hey, Joe, Joe. Take it easy. It'll mm -hmm. cost me 50 bucks to get those put back. What's 10% of that? Five dollars. <laughs> We're just getting started, George. Now let's rip out these electric wires. Hey, Joe. Joe. Joe, hmm? they'll charge me $30 to replace that. See, 10% of 30? Three bucks. Uh, how much do you think it would cost to repair that gas pipe? A $10. Well, a buck is a buck. What's, uh, what's that, uh, that 10% you pick with? What is that? Uh, well, that's a discount. I may be able to get you. Oh, of course, I'm a pro. Yeah. <laughs> At Sam's Repair Shop. Oh. Sam's, here's the card. Yeah, I better bring my card, too. Yeah, now, come on, let's rip out the rest of these pipes first. Uh, George, Mother has some news for you. She may be heading back to San Francisco tonight. That's right. Good work already, huh? Oh, boy. I've only been staying here because I didn't think you were capable of looking after my daughter properly. But now the lights and water and gas have all gone on the bleak. You don't say. Yes, I do. <laughs> and now, here's my proposition. If you can prove to me that you're a handyman by fixing everything, I'll pack up and go home. I, uh, I have to. Oh, no. No! Oh, see how anxious he is to get started, Mama. He can't even wait for a hammer he's beating on the sink with his head. And it's not doing the sink any good. 
Oh, well, don't worry about a thing, Mama. George will go right down to the basement and fix everything. Oh, honey. Come I... along, dear. Gracie, I can't fix this stuff. Look at this basement. Gas and water pipes all over the floor. Wires ripped out off the wall. And the hot water heater disconnected. Oh, boy. When Phil Goodwin turns off a valve, he really turns it. Huh? It looks like he chased a girl through here. <laughs> Phil Goodwin? Yes, he turned off the water and lights so you could turn them on and be a hero for Mama. In the meantime, Joe Bagley and... Oh, well. There's no use crying over spilled milk. Oh, did he knock that over, too? <laughs> I'll never get this plumbing fixed. Oh, but you've got to. Then Mama will like you. You'll be a plumber and she'll be your friend. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know a gas pipe from a water pipe. And the electrical wiring is down, too. Well, I'll help you, dear. Remember, it's the only way you can get Mama to go home. Well, okay. You stand there by the main electric switch, ready to throw it when I tell you. Mm -hmm. I'll fix this if it's the last thing I do. Atta boy. Well, now, let's see. I'll pick up this electric wire. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, I like you when you look so determined. <laughs> Fox shooting from your eyes. And your ears. And your nose. Gracie, throw the switch. Throw the switch. Yes, dear. Hmm. Well, hurry up. Turn it off. Well, I can't. I don't know where I threw it. Ah, the daring young man on the flying trapeze. Right on the button, Meredith. The summer circus season is underway, so chill the pink lemonade and scatter the ground with tan mark. And pass me another bag of peanuts, Toby. I've been a sucker for a circus ever since I first crawled under the tent flaps back in Mason City, Iowa. Yes, the circus is full of rich, warm memories for all of us, Meredith. The early morning chill and mist at the freight yard, the glaring red and yellow of the bright painted wagons, the strains of the calliope down Main Street as you tramp behind that gay parade. These are all memories that easily explain why, down the years, the circus has always been such a thrilling and popular part of the American scene. Mama, you'll be so proud of George. He fixed the gas pipes and the water pipes and the electric wires just like a professional repairman. That's right. And now that you're satisfied, I'm a, I'm a good husband. I, I guess you'll be heading back home. I'll be sorry to see you go. <laughs> Not so fast. Let's see if things are really fixed. Turn on that to water faucet, Gracie. All right. Gas. There's gas coming out of the water faucet. That's impossible. Uh, turn on the gas stove. All right. <laughs> oh, no. I thought so. A handy man, is he? And the gas stove's squirting water. Well, Mother, it's not so bad. When you want to take a nice hot shower, just call in the oven. <laughs> sure. And I suppose when I'm thirsty, I just turn on the faucet and take gas. <laughs> That's an idea. <laughs> What was that? Nothing, just a slip of the tongue. Well, it'll be a novelty when you turn on the faucet to wash vegetables. <laughs> it'll be the first time people ever get ravages to scare. Wait right here. I'll go down to the basement and uh, make a few changes. I switched a few wires and pipes around. Turn on the gas now. All right. What happened? The lights went on in the living room. <laughs> hmm. I'll turn on the water faucet. There. What's that? The phone's ringing. Well, answer it. Hello? Who is it, dear? It's you, George. You're talking in the faucet. <laughs> Well, I give up. It's about time. And go see who that is standing at your front door. I didn't hear the door buzzer. Well, neither did I. I'll go with you, dear. Excuse us, Mother. 
Howdy, little lady. Oh, hello, Mr. Judson. Howdy, little man. Hi, Tex. Say, I'm afraid I'm a mite damn. I pushed your door buzzer and the lawn sprinklers went on. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, George has been trying to fix the plumbing and the wiring to show my mother he's a handy man. Yeah, but I can't do it. I'll have to give up and call the repairman Joe Bagley recommended. Why, shucks, I'll fix it for you. Can you fix plumbing? Well, I wish I had a million dollars for every oil well I pipe. Come to think of it, I have. <laughs> See, George, I've got a wonderful idea. If Mr. Judson can slip down to the basement without Mother seeing him, we can tell her that you fixed everything. Yeah. Then she'll go home. Well, <laughs> now, I'd regret not meeting your mother, little lady. I, I bet she's as pretty as a movie star. She's got the looks and build of a Texas steer. <laughs> Prettier than a movie star. <laughs> Yeah, she's a doll. <laughs> well, come on, Mr. Judson. We'll slip in the basement window. Now, Gracie, don't let your mother come down the basement. If she sees Judson, I'm finished. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep Mom in the kitchen. Good luck, Mr. Judson. Hope you can lift those pipes. They're awfully heavy. Well, now, don't you worry. I can lift them with one little jerk. He'll help you, but don't call him that. <laughs> He'll help me, but don't... <laughs> oh, I like your sense of humor, man. Don't let your mother be seeing it. <laughs> Mama, he's back down in the basement and fixing everything. Well, I suppose this time you'll have the water squirting out of the light socket. <laughs> Better go down to the basement to see that he doesn't kill us all entirely. Oh, no, don't go down to the basement. Why not? Uh, oh, why not? Yes. Well, uh, George doesn't like to have an audience when he works. You know, that's why he was so happy in Fortville. <laughs> Come in. Hello. Came oh. to the back door because your front lawn sprinklers are on. Oh, well, that's all right, Meredith. Have you met my mother? No, I haven't. But any mother of yours is a friend of mine. Well, I want you two to meet. This is my mother, Meredith Wilson. Oh, what a coincidence. We have the same name. <laughs> I don't have to stand here and listen to this simpleton. <laughs> I'll go down the basement and see how the other one's doing. Oh, no, Mother. We'll send this one down. I shall be happy to descend to the basement and observe the progress of the other one. Pleased to have met you, Gracie's mother. Uh, I'm glad it's over, too. <laughs> I think I'd better look down the basement and see how your husband's doing. Oh, wait, Mama. Bill Goodwin just drove up the driveway. I'm very anxious for you to talk to him. Why? Uh, why? Well, uh, he, he's Irish like you are. He's a son of old Aaron. Yeah, that's his father, old Aaron Goodwin. <laughs> um, excuse me, Mama. I'll let him in the back door. Hi, Gracie. I was driving Professor Corkendorfer downtown, and I thought I'd stop oh, and see sh how the... Bill, don't ask me any questions, but you're Irish, and you're keeping Mama out of the basement. No questions, huh? No. Well, I'm game. Uh, I'll be right out, Professor Corkendorfer. Uh, Mother, I want you to meet that handsome Irishman, Mr. Bill O'Goodwin. <laughs> oh, good. Uh-huh. But, Doctor, a moment ago, it was just Goodwin. Well, uh, my girlfriend's changed it for me. You see, whenever they're on a date with me, they keep saying, Oh, Goodwin. Oh, Goodwin. <laughs> Tell me now, what part of the owl's heart is your favorite? Uh, Griffith Park. <laughs> this man doesn't sound like an Irishman to me. I'm going down to the basement to watch me stupid son-in-law. Uh, well, fair face now, Mrs. Allen, sure, you're not to be going down a dark and dirty basement and depriving me the company of a Colleen as young and pretty as yourself, Miss Everett. <laughs> oh, 
things that can't kiss back. <laughs> oh, George. Yeah? I'm taking Mama over to Dr. Miller, the psychiatrist. It's about time. <laughs> uh, come and get us when you're ready. Well, job's all done, little man. Your plumbing and wine is all TX. TX? You mean okay. In Texas, we say T-X. O-K reminds us of Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, where's Meredith? Well, to keep him out of the way, I told him to sit in the corner and smell that water pipe to see if there was any gas coming out. Ah. Oh. Well, thanks a million, Mr. Judson. I'd offer to pay her, but all I've got with me is cash. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> all you've got is uh. cash. Oh, I despise your sense of humor, little man. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Come on, Meredith. Let's get Gracie. Uh, let's get Gracie and her mother. Oh no, George. A leak might still occur in this pipe. I shall stay by my post and smell. <laughs> Suit yourself, Stinky. <laughs> Bill. Bill, are you still in the house here? Here is Professor Korkendorfer. I'm tired of waiting in the automobile. Hello? Speak up, somebody. <laughs> I'm down here, Professor. Somebody spoke? <laughs> I'm Meredith Wilson in the basement. <laughs> Who are you when you're upstairs? <laughs> I'm still Meredith Wilson. Why don't you come down and join me? You're standing right at the head of the steps. You don't gotta tell me there's the steps. I got ice like a hole. <laughs> Here I go. Gee, Professor, I'm afraid you missed a step. That's ridiculous. I hit every one of them. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm smelling, I'm smelling this water pipe to see if gas comes out. <laughs> gas out of a water pipe? <laughs> Something is wrong with the plumping here. <laughs> While I'm waiting for my friend Bill Goodwin, I'm going to fix it. But, Professor, I think everything is fixed. i got to have a look-see one. I got ice like a hawk. <laughs> Aha! Here is the dropper with the plumping. Oh, they, 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 they got soft pipes. <laughs> Professor, you're holding my leg. <laughs> so? <laughs> How could you have such skinny legs and such a big stomach? <laughs> no, that's a hot water heater. <laughs> to fix the whole works. Now, now, first, I clear away these spider webs. <coughs> Professor, those spider webs were electric wires. Smart spiders. Now they kill the flies by electrocution. <laughs> well, I got no time for box. I get busy now and fix the blumping. <coughs> Come in, Gracie. Come in, Mama. I want you to see that I've got the plumbing and wiring all in apple pie order. Oh, George, I'm so proud of you. Mama's been calling you that little schnook who can't fix things. Now she'll have to change her tune. Yeah. Now she'll have to call you that little schnook who can fix things. <laughs> yeah, again. Well, if it's true that he fixed things, I'll pack up and go home tonight. Otherwise, I'll be staying until Christmas. Turn on that water, Mama, and see for yourself. Shh. Yeah. Sure. That's impossible. Turn on the gas. Uh, what would you like for Christmas dinner, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> 